Hi guys, my name is Janelle and I wanted to talk about two purchases that I made recently, both from Celine. I didn't buy these at the same locations and I didn't buy them at the same time, so I'll briefly go over my buying experiences. The first piece that I bought from them, this is the Celine mini luggage and it comes in this dust bag. It's, it has such a soft lining, like I could sleep in this bag. If I fit in this bag, I can sleep in it. But this is the bag. This is in the color Cerise or Cere. I don't think you pronounce the last S. I originally thought it was going to be a little more gray, a little bit um, cooler in color, but it's actually really warm in tone. Taupe, I guess, is a good description of the color of this bag. The way I purchased it was through text message. I had contacted the Celine boutique and the sales associate that I spoke with took down my phone number and said that she would send me pictures of the colors that they had in stock. Uh, the experience was really nice. The shipping was a day or two. I think it was two days, but um, it was really fast. So I bought from the Vegas boutique and I'm in Phoenix, so it's not too far of a distance, but I really like that the shipping was so quick because when you make an investment like this, when you invest so much money, you want your item right away. Um, so that was really nice. If you are buying from out of state, ask about sales tax. I didn't have to pay any sales tax, and I think that's because there's not a Celine boutique in my state but I'm not really sure. I didn't really get all the details and I didn't want to question it because I was already saving so much money by not paying sales tax. So I've had this bag for about three months now. I try to keep it in the desk bag, but I like to display this bag because I'm so proud of it. And I don't carry it everywhere. If I know I'm going to have a lot of things I'm going to be carrying that day, I don't bring this bag. Or if the weather is off and it might rain, I don't want to carry this in the rain. I have carried it when it was raining and nothing happened to the bag. It's not like the Louis Vuitton, um, Vachetta handles where they say don't bring it out in the rain and I have had experiences with that and I didn't realize it was because of the rain that I had these little spots on it. So these are very durable. It's in the silver hardware so it's going to have the suede lining. So I think the distinguishing mark of the uh, silver hardware is that it's in the bumpy or drummed leather whereas the smooth one is in the gold lettering so I guess it really depends on if you wear more silver or more gold. I kind of go back and forth so it wasn't really a big deal to me. I was a little bit cautious about the interior being the suede on the Louis Vuitton bags on some of them they have the suede interior which bleeds don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise they bleed I guess it's just the silicone cases or like vinyl things that are going to have a lot of color transfer when you have bags with micro suede which is kind of um strange to me because when you're paying so much for a purse you would think they would test for things like that and find a way to treat it so that it doesn't rub the color off on other things but whatever. Um, so we don't have a Celine store in Phoenix, but we have a Barney's in Scottsdale that carries Celine bags. So if you don't have a Celine store in your area, definitely check out the um, luxury high-end stores first and just kind of carry them around and see if you'd like them and then see if you can purchase it from the boutique to get away with not paying sales tax. All right, so on to the second item that I have from Celine. They came in this box and so far um you know Celine's not very showy with their um, packaging and the sunglasses that I bought I don't really know the name of but I saw these in store uh, a couple of times and I always find myself trying them on I originally wanted Tom Ford shades because Tom Ford's so luxurious and I wanted new shades for the winter time that were all black like just um, not the gradients or anything, just pure black. Um, they have the three dots on the corners. Um, that you can tell they're Celine, and they don't say Celine on the outside at all. 
which I kind of like because when I'm carrying my uh, mini luggage around, I don't want to just be like screaming, Celine. It comes in a soft case. It says Celine on it. It's very simple. The case is soft, but it's it'll keep your glasses protected. I um, was a little concerned that they might squish the glasses, especially if I just kind of uh, put them at the bottom of my bag. This has protected it really well because it's a cushioned, soft case. It's not just a piece of cloth. Um, now these sunglasses, I thought I'd be able to stick them onto the little back piece right here. So a lot of videos will tell you this is um, made for putting your sunglasses on. I don't want to stick my sunglasses on here anyway because it's going to get scratched if I'm like walking around or I accidentally hit something. I don't think that's a good idea anyway. I think if your sunglasses are a little bit older, that might be okay. And I have an older pair of drawer glasses that actually look better behind this bag than these ones do. These kind of puff out a little bit or they don't sit as flat. So it's a little bit awkward. Whereas um, the deer glasses that I'm talking about, they're kind of rounder. And so they have thinner arms also. So it just kind of sits nicer. It's a little bit more flush with the bag. All right, and I bought these at Solstice and I bought it during the anniversary sale. So originally these were $3.65 and I think I got them for under $200, just under $200 with the tax. So it worked out really nice. I hope this helped if you were looking into making a purchase with Celine and if you have any questions or if this video helped you, let me know. I'd love to hear that and maybe we can make more videos together. Thank you.